Well, good morning. It's pretty early. It's about 10 to 5. But it's daylight already. I gotta be kind of quiet. The flip flops are sleeping. Except for two of them. Uh, that I had to wake up because they were parked in no parking zones and I couldn't get out. Typical day in the life of a flippy flop. Anyways, uh. I don't think I've done a shotgun coil for you guys. I just don't haul them that much. So I'll show you how to secure them. Not real hard to figure out, but I don't really like hauling them because mostly my coil bag don't fit right on there. It's not nice and tight, it flops around a little bit, but. Uh, oh, hold on. But the receiver required a loaded shotgun, so we did it. And uh, this is a stainless steel coil, very expensive. So, and I'll show you something to watch for when we get to that. We're gonna do this in reverse because it's already loaded. So when I get to where I'm going in about an hour, we'll just do uh, uncover and show you what we're working with. All right, see you bye. Well, good morning from the northwest side of the lake. I don't know if I've done a shotgun coil for you since I can't remember, we'll do it. I'll do it in reverse because I already loaded it, but I'll show you a couple tri um, tips, a couple things to watch out for. Uh, pretty easy. I just, uh, I don't load them like this a lot. I don't like to load them like this unless they request it, which these guys did. Uh, not that it's any more unsafe. It's just my coil bag don't fit as good. Flaps a little bit in the breeze, so I don't like it, so... I'll get the bag off and show you how to secure it. All right, first, I gotta dump the air in this trailer so everything's easier to reach. And we'll get to work. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, here we go. I'll show you a little closer up with these chains when I get that pad off. Uh, of course, I got my uh, felt pad on there to protect my bag. And I'll use four chains and two, three straps, depending on the weight. This coil's 40 grand, it's not real heavy. So let me get those straps out of there, get that pad off, and then show you a little closer up on these chains and a couple things to do and not do and look for. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, we got it uncovered here. Now normally, and this coil, it's very expensive, it's stainless steel, so they actually put a rubber insert in it because some guys just won't use edge protectors. But if you get the rubber insert, you don't need the edge protector, so I guess that's a benefit even if you do use them, a little less step. Now, a lot of guys will build a bulkhead in front of here, and that's fine. Um, whatever your company may require, do it. Now normally though, your first chain, you'd want to pull it like right here, dead even with it. If it's a non-finished coil or a big ugly coil, something like that, that's fine. But this is stainless steel and you don't want to damage it. So I came out a little bit because I don't want my binders or chain up against the finished edge, okay? So I'm gonna use two chains on each side, these first two, Pull them in if it's not a finished coil because that's what will stop it from going forward or backwards. Just a reminder, one coil rack for every 10,000 pounds. I should have threw some rubber mats down on my board, um, but by the time I realized it was a uh, stainless steel coil, he pretty much had it set down. Um, my boards are well used, no sharp edges, so I'm not too worried about it. Plus, it's wrapped in plastic to protect it. So I do two chains each way, uh, alternate your binders. So you guys putting all, all your binders on one side, that's just a bad deal. It'll twist the trailer to that side because it's pulling, it's not pulling straight down, it's pulling this way or that way. Make you more prone to a rollover. So you have four chains and then as many straps as you need. Four chains, I was probably legal on this coil um, it's only 40,000 pounds, but 
no penalty for too much securement. So I threw a couple straps over the top to one, hold my pad, but two, you get securement credit for that. And it's just another, another safe uh, step, another step in safety. Da, da, da. I ain't ready to wake up. And when you guys come to Chicago, just know you'll be around the rudest drivers on the planet. So I pulled over here to get untarped and I'm ready to go now. But Pedro and his brother pulled in in front of me, just cut right in front. They don't care. It's all about them. That's the generation we live in. Luckily, I'm not in a big hurry. This place don't open until seven. Uh, it's about five till. So they went nowhere fast, but you know, they're important. They're more important than me. So after I'm done here, I'm gonna go ask them for an autograph. And then they say, what for them? I say, well, you guys are famous truck drivers. You can cut in front of anybody you want. So I'm gonna get an autograph. All right, y'all, shotgun coil, there you go. All right, y'all, God bless you, bye now.